Subscribe and turn on notifications to enter our PS4 and Xbox One giveaway. The link is in the description. For this first experiment, all you're going to need is just a simple full glass of water, some food coloring, and some shaving cream. Number 15, making it rain. Here we go. Take our shaving cream and make some clouds. But we should have some rain dripping through our clouds. Okay, it looks like we have some yellow rain, so I'm... Number 14, up in flames. Warning tip, make sure to have some water next to you. Obviously, I don't want you bursting your house into flames. So, first off, if you can somehow manage to get a bottle of methane, this experiment is right for you. What you're going to need is a half-filled jar full of soapy water and then pretty much just a tiny bit of methane in that. And what you do here is I have this little pressure regulator hook on my methane bottle, and we're going to make some methane bubbles. Because we could put this in a balloon first, and then we could squeeze it back out. That might be a better idea, just so we get like more of a thrust of the balloons. Can make a bag of methane here. Stick that down up in there. We're gonna go ahead and light this up. Oh, I like that. Number 13, rainbow in a cup. Here's a neat trick to impress your science teacher. Add one spoonful of sugar to the first cup, two to the second cup, three to the third cup, and four spoonfuls of sugar to the fourth cup. Add 60 milliliters of warm water to each cup and stir it to dissolve it well. To help with the dissolving, you can put it in a microwave for 30 seconds and then stir it again. The waters won't mix with each other when you layer them slowly. Because of their different densities, they'll each make their own layer. Number 12, the Leiden Frost Effect. The Leiden Frost Effect happens when you boil water at 374 degrees Fahrenheit or otherwise 109 degrees Celsius. At this point, the water becomes vapor, allowing any other water to be placed on the hot metal to evaporate slowly, allowing it to move around like so. Just a little bit of water, just a little drops. You see how all these drops just like spinning around Number 11, pencils through a bag. Here's an interesting experiment you can even try right now at home. So all you need is a plastic bag, some water, and some sharpened pencils. If you want to pause the video and come back, I got you. But if you don't and you just want to watch, what you do is obviously just poke the sharpened pencils through the bag, but make sure not to touch them or wiggle them too much because no one likes a leak in their bag. Number 10, glowing ice cubes. This one is surprisingly easy to do and also edible. So if you're gonna be hosting a party, keep this one in mind because I recommend it. It's really cool, I've actually tried it before. So all you're gonna need is some tonic water. So if you have Schweppes, you're pretty much fine, but also you're gonna need a black light too. So what you're going to need to use to make glow in the dark ice is one ingredient only, and that is tonic water. And your tonic water has to have quinine in it. Pour your tonic water into your ice cube trays. So after your tonic water is all frozen, bring it under the black light and the magic, it's just magical. It is- Number nine, cube bubble. For this one, you're gonna need something you can make a cube out of. I recommend straws, a container to put soap in, and obviously soap. So at this point, once you've made your cube, you're gonna put it inside of the container, fill with soap, and eventually you'll have a cube. Great for those hipsters that really believe in bubbles being too generic. Number eight, drain cleaner and aluminum foil. So at this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour in some drain cleaner and then a couple balls of aluminum foil. Now, of course I'd explain what's going on, but I really don't know much about chemistry except for the fact that I know you and I have it. Subscribe. Forming hydrogen and sodium tetrahydroxyaluminate. Great tongue twister, isn't it? The reaction with foil goes very roughly and the balloon is soon inflated with hydrogen. Now I remove the hot balloon filled with hydrogen and tied up. Water 
the most useful substance for living organisms, is formed. Number 7. Hovercraft For next experiment, you're going to want a bottle cap, an old disc, some hot glue, and a balloon. Number six, CD bubbles. And then you gotta be quick, blow on it. You gotta be really quick. Is that insane? Check this out. Number five, lemon volcano. For this, you're gonna need a lemon, baking soda, vinegar, and a knife. Again, be careful. Number four, lava art. Now for this experiment, most of the stuff you can find around your house, you will need a simple clear glass so you can see better and also a one fourth cup of vegetable oil. Also you will be needing uh, three fourths cups of water, some food color and preferably red, and uh, one teaspoon of salt. Now just add the water into your glass and add five drops of food coloring, preferably red, just so it looks like more like lava. Now add your 1 4 cup of vegetable oil and we're almost done, just add the salt and as you can see the salt will sink down because it is heavier and while it's sinking down uh, it will take some oil with it and uh, while the oil is down there and the salt, the salt will dissolve and the oil will come up so that's how the whole process happens. Number 3 Edible Water Beads what you're going to need to do is add about a cup of tapioca into a pot of boiling water and let that sit for roughly around an hour. And you're just going to dump it into your pot. And you're just going to cook them until they are all the way transparent. Right, let's check on our beautiful tapioca pearls. And we are just going to pour them into a strainer. And now we're going to let them set for five minutes. Now we're going to do my favorite part. We're going to make a rainbow, you guys. Come on. And now we're going to take our lovely food coloring. And we are just going to add a couple drops to each Tupperware container. And now they're ready for play. These are amazing sensory toys that you can use with your toddlers and teach measuring and just play with because they're downright fun. And Number two, fire snake. And finally, number one, oobleck. Depending on how big you really want to get with this, the formula is one part water and one half cornstarch. You can also add food coloring for added effect. Mm. Pure grade. Oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid. It has properties of both a liquid and a solid. If you dip your hand into it, it acts like a liquid, but if you quickly squeeze it or step on it, it will behave like a solid. Applying pressure to it, and then turns back into a liquid. You know what it's like? It's like 
Diet, 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 diet weekends. <laughs> It's sort of like a solid and liquid mixed. I don't know, it's really cool. I'm about to go try it in a second after this video. But that concludes 15 amazing science experiments you can do at home. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content to come in the future. Let us know what you think about some of these and which one is your favorite. And have yourselves a great day.